What's going on guys? So it's uh, Monday, a Labor Day long weekend. So actually just coming out to work on the 55. Uh, brought stuff out. I gotta tighten up the belt on this thing. It's howling away and driving me a little bit crazy. But uh, I've been getting lots of comments on the 57 videos. I appreciate it. Lots of new viewers, subscribers, all that stuff. And people are mentioning all sorts of Tri-5s. And I know I haven't talked about it in a while, but I have this 55 Chevy, which I built over the winter, last winter. Did a bunch of videos on it. Don't have near the views of the 57, but uh, hopefully I'll get there. I'll do more on it. So this car actually started off life as a four-door. I've always wanted to, you know, a two-door kind of a two-lane blacktop style car. Never could I afford one here. Uh, a pretty rough two-door post car is almost 10 grand and needs a lot of work. So I ended up getting this four-door, which was beat. It was a roller. It needed some floor repair, bracing underneath, obviously, uh, trunk floor, all sorts of stuff like that. And I also got a, a really, really, really ratty two-door post. And it was rotted six inches up. Firewall was rotted. Frame was rotted in a few spots. It was, uh, it was beat all to hell. But I ended up using some parts off it. I ended up actually using the proper uh, window and post and all that off the two door. I managed to rescue all the regulators and stuff like that out of it. So the windows do go up and down properly on this thing. They're not just kind of glued in like a lot of four door to two door conversions. So that's that. Went through the whole car underneath. So it's got ball joints, bushings, body mounts, uh, springs, every single piece underneath this car is brand new, all brand new brakes. Put a positive rear end in it. It's a factory rear end, so they're not exactly the strongest. Got a set of doors for it. I think I one came with the car or two, and I, I got another set. I don't even remember what I did, but they're decent. Uh, put in rockers, or there was rockers kind of half done. I redid them. I had to redo this part of the quarter. It radius the wheel wells, natural patch around back. Under the tail lights, new panels on each side. Uh, the tail panel across, the brace, the trunk floor, that's all new all new uh you know window channel weather strip throughout the whole car so every little bit there is all you know new stuff uh door panels i just ended up getting these kind of plain jane cardboard things put those in i bought a carpet kit for it put that in so it looks nice instead of race buckets otherwise it's it's bone stock in there didn't do one thing to it uh had a buddy come by and let her up the dash so it looks all neat you know factory wheel it's uh, manual brakes but i did put discs on the front and, and manual steering didn't change the steering box or anything so it's zillion crank side to side big bus driver wheel uh the front clip it's a one piece glass front end i actually found it locally believe it or not i was shocked uh it was pretty butchered up it was all kind of bent and stuff like that from sitting uh it was originally a cowl hood so it had a you know two or three inch cowl and the center was cut out for a big supercharger so i cut it all right out made it into a flat hood then i cut a hole in it for the carburetors to stick through uh, you know, if you're a real stupid 55 guy, there should be a body line there. Mine's just dead flat. You know, put the grill in, no front bumper, just the real, uh, you know, kind of beat up gas or look. I was going for, uh, you know, if it was the late 70s, what would you have if you were looking? So it's kind of, uh, it is what it is. Set of, you know, chrome reverse steelies on the back and uh, some American racing beat up. There's 14s on the front, but it's all I could really afford. Let's kind of flip the front end here. So it's a uh, 454. Originally when I got this thing, I was having a guy build me a 454. Uh, I still haven't got it. Definitely taking a little bit longer to have it all together, but hey, it is what it is. So in the meantime, this is a bone stock truck motor, which I found with a triple 400 behind it. So very plain Jane. And all I did was put a set of headers on it and towel around with dual quads because they look cool. And that was it. I mean, I, I, uh, the motor fits, so if I get the other motor in, I can always swap it. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have that motor. It's, you know, definitely a, it'll be a quick one compared to this. But this thing, I mean, this thing blazes the tires as it is. There's no shortage of horsepower there for these, uh, you know, old school rock hard cheater slicks I have on it. And ultimately, the factory rear end is so, uh, so flimsy. If you dead hook it, apparently they just explode. So it does what it wants. I just wanted a kind of cool car. It does burnouts and all that, which this thing does it has to look it looks neat it is what it is i also have a muncie four speed and i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do i was thinking maybe put the big block in four speed in this but anyways i was just gonna tighten up this belt 
I made this little bracket here out of, I don't know, my old man had it off some British car or whatever, so I'll have to put a little torque on it, see how it goes, and go from there. So I'll get this all kind of tightened up, and then uh, I'll show you what I'm doing on the 57. Isn't much, but some progress is better than no progress. All right, belt's nice and tight there, so I'll uh, take you inside, and we'll, uh, we'll work on that 57 a little bit, see how it goes. The weather's been rough here, so it's door down season, which is super, super depressing. Well, the GoPro died on the way in the garage, so I had to charge it up a little, but uh, the 57. So I've been making some progress on this thing. I got all the rear lights in, all the lenses on, double checked all those. This is actually a scatter shield I picked up from a, a guy who had one, uh, used it for mock-up, and that was the end of it, so it's brand new, but been uh, taken apart so that's good for a you know big block Chevy in a Muncie which I happen to have uh, up front the headlights and all that were working that's where I left it with you guys last time I did hook up the turn signal and park lights this is actually a switch I think it's off the Nova or Nova one I had the uh, rod wasn't long enough so I ended up welding a little bolt to it and I just JB welded it so that's gonna sit and set up because I'm too cheap to buy another one uh, so the headlights will be on when I hook this up so that's where I left it last time. The headlights are on and work, which they still do. But the back, I should have park lights. Look at that. They're so, so tiny on this thing, but whatever it is what it is. So I got that all going. Inside the car, I haven't made a whole lot of progress. I did get the, uh, the new switch in, so that's all working. Spammer cable's out, or, or ready to go. All the stuff for the uh, wipers are there. I got to go through and just check all these bulbs. This is going to be my indicator. Uh, so the indicator ones actually work, I believe, on the uh, for the signals. Oh, I had it working. Must need a ground or something. But so that was going just fine. The fan works and all that was good. High low beam works. So really, it's all there. I just got to kind of hook this all up, put it in the cluster, jam it all back in, and go from there. But uh, like I said, the signals do work here, which is pretty slick. And this thing's just like, uh, yeah, it's working. I spent a bunch of time when I had a 64 Beaumont, the front park lights don't go on with the headlights, and that's just how they're wired, which was crazy. When I did the 55, I wired the thing myself, so I ended up having them on like every other car in the world. There you go, back signals. So the only thing I got left here to do, license plate light, I haven't got that, but I do have the wire to it and it's got power, so that'd be no big deal. I haven't found a little bracket. So far I found a little plastic piece. It'll just kind of, it fits in there and it just kind of puts light up on the deck lid because that's where the license plates are in these old cars. So that's all I really got to worry about with that. Pretty simple stuff. The car's going pretty good. Uh, you know, it needs alignment and all that and some cooling system issues. Uh, the radiator, like I said, it leaks a little bit, and actually the heater core leaks a little bit, so that's a pain, but uh, it should be enough. I can, you know, put some valves on it, maybe put a stop leak in it, do a fuel leak. i got to fix that still, and I actually end up getting some uh, temporary insurance on this thing, so I have to take it for a proper test drive. So maybe I'll do that in the next couple days. Now that I have lights, get the dashboard in, and eliminate the fuel leak, yeah, I can actually drive the thing a little bit. Well, that's it. I just want to give you guys a little update on it, how it's going out here. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing to the channel, telling your friends. Keep doing that. Let's keep it going. The views are great. Let me know what you think. That's it. So thanks for subscribing, and uh, I'll be back in the next couple of days with some more other 57 Chevy update, I'm sure.